and take your arms above your head and just go for that full body stretch. Keep your feet on the floor. Oh, and that lovely morning feeling as we open up right down the side of your body. So we know that Pilates is about precision and control and flow. And we know that we focus on two main areas, the deep abdominal, the pelvic stability and the shoulder stability. So as you stretch, commit to pressing your feet firm into the floor and know that you're getting a much more beneficial stretch, much more efficient stretch because your feet are grounded. Take your right hand and reach up a little higher on that right side. Oh, my shoulder blade nearly popped out. And try it on the left side. Isn't that good? Does that start a yawn? Do you start to breathe well? Possibly for the first time today or this week? As your body adjusts to this new way of being focused. Let the arms drop. Hands by your side, close your eyes and rock forward and back. Bring your feet underneath your pelvis. Good, toes facing forward, forward and back. So you feel as if you're readjusting. You're going from the outside world into your inside world. What's going on for you? And that's how we create that control, body knowledge, body awareness. Be still, shift right to left, little toe to little toe. Again, coming into your body, what do you notice physically? What thoughts are rushing around your mind? How are you feeling emotionally? So bring yourself into your body and ground yourself down into the floor and make roots. Feel strong, feel solid. <coughs> Tighten your deep abdominal as you draw up your body. Tuck your tailbone under so your pubic bone and hips are in line. Done that. Where do your hands rest? Ideally, you want your arms to rest at the side of your body, your little finger in the seam of your leggings, your trousers, that's where they should be. So your chest is open and you breathe well. Bring your hands onto your waist and lift the right arm and because we're exercising, bend the knees. Arm up and over and tip and round your spine. And do that on the other side, lift, Little bend in the knees, but keep the pelvis in alignment and stretch. How's that this morning? Bit groany, bit creaky. Need a bit of oil, need a bit of a lubrication, need a little bit of movement into your spine. Oh, wow. One more each side, go deeper, go lower. Explore more, own your body, own how it feels. Don't ignore the discomfort, seek it out. <laughs> Both arms open, open your chest. Now come forward, link your fingers, press your palms away and bend your knees. Do that again, open your arms. Oh, push your hips forward, come forward. Link the, yes, round the spine. Good, do that again, hands go back, open your arms and then come forward. And then let's make that a bit deeper. Take your hands onto your lower back, pull the shoulders back and look up. And come forward, link the fingers and push forward. One more of those, hands go back, pull the shoulder blades back. Yeah, good. I heard some very satisfactory opening noises there. So release the shoulders. Come back into your perfect posture. Your pubic bone and your hips in line. Your tummy muscles holding that position. Your hands by your side and your shoulder blades holding that position. 
Lift your hands to shoulder height. Take the right arm up and the left arm down and open your chest. Inhale. Exhale. Precision, control, centered, flow. These are some of the Pilates principles that we apply to every move. Breath is another. So concentrate on keeping your core strong, still. Your core, your abdominal and your back muscles. Simply be aware of that deep abdominal and pull it in. Simply be aware that you're opening your chest, but you're keeping your shoulders still, front of your chest still. When you're ready, slide your opposite foot forward and lift the knee high up in front. Bring the foot down and do that on the other side. Perfect. Good, so your vision is on your horizon. Your eye gaze is soft or possibly even closed. When you close your eyes, a whole new aspect of your body comes to the fore. You are aware of your knees. Well done, Sally, I like the little smile. <laughs> the knowing smile. Lift the knee and hold. You can open your eyes now because we're going to move on. Open. Bend the supporting knee and take it into a one-legged squat. Lift the knee, bring it forward and land. Other side, you're doing well, brilliant. Big breath in. Open to the side, oh, I love those shoulders, Karen, beautiful. Take that foot back and lift the knee. Yay, come forward, well done. One more, let me hear you breathe. Make the breath audible. Good, do the breath that suits you. I always try and breathe out on the effort, but the effort will change. That's the lengthening breath. That's the working breath. Taking the foot behind, and I think you're ready. My lovelies, pick up your hand weights. You know you want to. <laughs> Shake out your legs, bring your feet hip distance, brace your core and lift your hands to shoulder height. What I'm looking for are hands in line, she says with her arms up, hands in line with your shoulders. Luckily I've got several cameras on me at the moment. <laughs> Not. <laughs> Not very pleasant, but there we go. Needs to be done. Hands come forward, hands go back. Good, so I'm watching carefully at your shoulders. I'm watching your stability in your core. There's no twist. There's no rotation to this movement. It's just forward and down. And I like that pause in the middle. That's strong. Good. Good. So let's lift our opposite knee. Take your time, take the foot off the floor. Hold for a few seconds. Foot down, other side, hold. Yes, that is exquisite, keep going. So good, let's do more. Do you remember the tree roots from your feet? How stable and strong you are as you connect through your mat to the floor. Keep visualizing those tree roots. Perfect, one more, both sides, you're looking incredibly strong. Powerful, and let's reward you. Hold the knee in the air. Open the arm so the palms face me and the knee to the side. Now take the foot behind. Lift the knee up to the hand. That's a bit silly, a bit. Oh, no. Come forward and land. Hands in front. Other side, knee. Open the knee, palms to me. I want to see those strong arms. Bend. One-legged squat, lift the knee. Yes, you finish that with perfection. Lift the knee. Open to the side. Take your foot behind you. Lift the knee and bring the foot to the front. I love your work. Lift, keep coming. <laughs> Out to the side, back you go. Lift the knee, 
and come forward. One more. Yes, I think so. One more. Lift. Strong and bold. Purposeful. Foot goes behind. Knee lifts. I'm getting into the flow. And lower. And the other side. Good. Excellent work. Let's make it a little easier. I think so. Bring your hands across your chest. Tighten your tummy and bend your knees. Now when you bend your knees, you don't tip forward and you don't tip back. You're simply lining everything up, but with bent knees. Turn, right side, center, left side. So what am I looking for here? Are your hips, looking at you meaningfully, facing forward? Well done. Yes, that's good. Keep those hips still, Teresa. Well done, you're doing really well, Lily. That's it, look, you all look terrified. <laughs> all right, I'll stop watching. Turn through the waist. Now this is level one, and what we're doing here is mobilizing the oblique muscles, internal, external obliques, that help you to rotate, reverse the car, look behind you, whatever it is you do. Would you consider lifting your arms up? I like that pose, but not everybody wants to do that because they feel they look silly. <laughs> I think my uh, advertising on social media might go viral. <laughs> okay, you don't have to do that. <laughs> Hands out to the side, that looks a bit stronger. Elbows in line with your shoulders, good. Give me one more of those either side. You've lost your hips. Lily, you're, you're starting to twist. So remember, the hips stay forward. It's all in the rotation. Face the front, lift the arms to the sky. Bend the elbows, turn right. Center, lift to the sky. Good, slightly behind you, turn left. To the center, up to the, that looks fab. Two more, turn right. It's just the waist. Center, it's just the waist that turns. One more each side, ceiling, elbows, turn, ceiling, elbows, turn. Give yourself a breather, take the arms all the way down so the hands come down to the side of your leggings, your trousers, lift your arms, Hand weights touch or thumb and first finger touch and pulse back. Five, don't lift the ribs. Ribs down, feel the control. Feel the upper back getting stronger. Use your breathing, eye gaze forward. Let the hands drop to the side. Back muscles, feel them. <gasps> Thank you, Barbara. Lift, hand weights together or thumb and first finger pulse back, five. Four, three, two, one. Two more of those, all the way down. I love what you're doing. I love the musculature. I love that your shoulders are down. I love that your neck is free. I love that your ribs are down and you are stabilizing through your core. So one last one, all the way down to the side of your trousers and all the way up and pulse back. It's a tiny move, but it's effective. Bring the arms down and roll the shoulders. Good, turn the head side to side. Let's do a little bit of waist work. Send the right foot out to the side. Put your hands here, across your chest. Well done, Sarah. Or here. Elbows nice and high. We're gonna lift the right knee and bring the elbow to the knee, same elbow as knee, and then foot off the floor. Now bring the opposite elbow across, or it could be the shoulder, and climb up. Good, so I'm gonna go over, that's harder. <laughs> and then opposite elbow. Foot off the floor if you can, let me see your little shining stars. Elbow to knee, opposite elbow across. I'm looking for you to hold your elbows in line with your shoulders. Elbow to knee. Opposite elbow across. One more. Elbow to knee. 
elbow across. Good, shake out the legs. Take the other foot to the side. Lift the left knee, same elbow to knee. Take the leg off the floor. Opposite elbow across, foot off the floor. Give me four more of those. Yeah, go. Elbow to knee, elbows bent. Take it across your precision. So important with this move. Elbow to knee, foot off the floor. I'm going to breathe out as I come across. Foot off the floor. Elbow to knee, foot off the floor. Elbow across, foot off. One more because you're amazing. Elbow to knee, out to the side. Bring the foot and knee across. Shake out the legs, bring the arms down. This was interesting on Monday, hilarious maybe. Come to the front of your mat so that you have the mat behind you. If you turn into the middle of the room, you can see what's going on. Hands by your side, the front leg is the stage leg. Lift your front leg. Lift your front leg, other front leg, stage leg, leg nearest me. That's it, you've got it. Well done. Now lift that front knee and hold it. Take this leg, step behind you on your mat, lift your heel up and bend your back knee. Hands by your side giving you great posture. Step your back foot in and lift that front knee. Same thing, same leg, step back, heel up. Chest up, bend the back knee. Step the foot in, lift the knee. Your mats are designed to hold you steady and strong. They've got a little bit of help to keep you stable. They don't slide or they shouldn't slide. Heel up at the back. Good, and step in, one last one. So this is a lunge, and a lunge, oh Sarah, that's wow, is about heel up, that's great. That's really good, let's add arms. Arms up, front knee up. Take the leg back, heel up, drop into the back knee. Now bring your hands in front of your chest and push off that back leg. Good, arms up, step the same leg back, so it's all on the same leg, we haven't swapped, bend the back knee, heel up, bring the hands to shoulder height and that should help lift your front leg. Arms up, leg back, heel up, bend the back knee, arms down, lift the knee. Two more of those, arms up, leg goes back, heel up, bend the back knee, bring the arms down, and hopefully that will help. Now this time, stay behind, arms up, leg goes back, bend the back knee and bring the arms down, stay here. Look at me, bend that front elbow, bend it, bend it, bend it, now open it. <gasps> Bend it and push forward. Look at the elbow, look at me. Upright, upright, open. Good. So take the pressure off the front foot and put it in the back leg. Three more. Elbow, open. Bend, forward. Two more. So that back knee is taking a movement towards the floor and the back thigh is doing all the work. Agreed? Not really sure, Adele, everything hurts. <laughs> Bring the foot in, shake out in a demure fashion, rock and roll to the other end of your mat. Hands by your side, rock and roll. Lift the front knee. Look at that, through social, through science, we're now lifting the opposite leg. Lift and lower, five of those. And now, lift. Step back, heel up, and bend the back knee. Step the foot in, lift 
the knee, step back. So your hands by your side help to give you perfect alignment. You're not tipping forward, you're going directly down. Do you remember your roots? Well, now your roots are coming from your hands. Your hands are like beams of light going down towards the floor. Two more of those, knee lift, leg back, heel up, very important, step in. One last one, knee lift, leg back, good, down you go. Nicely done, Beverly. Hold there, lift the knee, lift the arm. So this is the hardest version of what you're doing. Step back, heel up, bend the back knee, bring the arms in line with your shoulders, push off and lift the knee. Arms up, step back, bend the back knee, arms come down, push off the back knee. Yay, arms up, leg goes back, heel up, bend the back knee, arms come down, line with shoulders, Push off the back leg, arms up, step back, bend the back knee, arms come down and step in. This is your last one, you're going to stay with your leg back, bend the back knee, arms come down. So if it all goes cunningly to pan, look at me and send your front elbow back and open. Good, bend the elbow and come forward. So I need you to think about your body and know, yes, this is a rotation in your upper body, but know that your back thigh is doing the work, not the front knee. If your front knee is doing it, your weight is forward of your body and you want your weight into your back leg. Do one more and then let me explain. So you come out and shake and relax and what you'll see with my technique is my ear, shoulder, hip and knee are in line. So it means that all the work is there. What happens is people don't step out far enough and they do that. So it loads the front of that knee. Shake out your legs, roll your shoulders up onto your toes and breathe in. Bring your heels down and breathe out. Bring your hands to the front of your thighs and roll down towards the floor, forward fold. Put your hand weights on your mat. Circle your arms, round one way and round the other. Put your hands on the floor, bend and straighten your legs. Bend and straighten your legs. So if you can't come all the way to the floor, put your hands on the top of your knees. Bend and straighten your legs. Now let the arms drop again, tighten your tummy, roll up through your spine. Remember how we started the session. Where do your arms land? Where do your shoulder blades go? Where are your feet in relation to your pelvis? How is your pubic bone? Is it in line with your hips? Chin to chest and stretch your neck. Folding in on yourself. Drop to the floor. Let your head hang. Let your arms go nice and soft like a rag doll circle. Both directions, so this is nice and recovery, this is nice and flowing, lots of breath, hands on the floor as you bend and straighten your legs, or put the hands on the top of the knees, whatever you can manage today. Look between your knees and then slowly climb up to standing, rebuild your spine, consider your posture, your technique, be mindful of your ear side of your shoulder, hip, ankle, climb up onto your toes, bring the heels down, posture first, then fold all the way down, let the breath go, 
Let it escape from your body. Circle the arms, look between your knees. Round the other way. Place the hands on the floor, bend and straighten the legs. Perfect. Well done.